so good to be back together with you we are going to look through the book of isaiah and particularly isaiah chapter 61 and as we read through the verses there i want to share some insights and uh, some of my understanding and i really hope that it will bless you uh, let's look at verse 1 isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1 it says the spirit of the lord is upon me because the lord has anointed me this is a prophecy of isaiah we know that um there were two uh, there were divided kingdoms at that time um and uh, isaiah was prophesying of god's restoration and he was prophesying of god's goodness being um uh, seen in the lives of the oppressed people of god um uh, and he speaks these words now we also know and bible historians would tell us that these words were not just referring to the goodness of god upon his pe- people during isaiah's times but also it was referring to the messiah and so many of these prophecies are recorded as messianic prophecies and uh, they talk about the lord jesus so here it says the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord has anointed me and we know that jesus fulfilled this in his lifetime he also read out this line in a synagogue and uh, he affirmed that he is the messiah the one that this passage is talking about we uh, see the use of the word anoint here anoint simply means to rub or sprinkle sprinkle on apply on uh, like something like an ointment or an oily liquid now we know that this was a common practice during um the old testament times and even uh, up until today you know the many many practice this but in the old testament times we know that god would choose kings among his people he would choose priests he would also choose prophets and to appoint them this was done you know some oil was taken and it was um uh, rubbed or put on on their heads to signify that they are now anointed or they are now chosen and empowered for the work that God has called them to do uh and friends want to remind us that for us in the new covenant you know in 1 John chapter 2 in verse 20 we are told uh, but you have an anointing from the holy one and you know all things we have the indwelling presence of the holy spirit as the new covenant believers in the olden times some people were chosen for the work of the ministry but here is the beauty of our times we are all anointed we are all anointed by the presence of the holy spirit and then of course there are various graces given to uh, each one of us to do god's work in different ways uh, but no we are every child of god every believer is anointed by the presence and the leading of the holy spirit no what a, a wonderful truth just the way the lord jesus was empowered by the holy spirit the people of god under the old covenant were empowered by god by the holy spirit today each one of us we are empowered by the holy spirit and here's the difference you know the old covenant uh, uh, men and women of god they had the empowering only as long as their task lasted but here we are carrying the holy spirit in us everywhere we go all the time and uh, no wonder paul talked about koinonia of fellowship with the holy spirit because he is right here within us and uh, you know he communicates with us he leads us he strengthens us and he also empowers us to do the works that jesus has called us to do let's pray together heavenly father thank you that um in the new covenant every believer is anointed lord we are anointed uh, and god we pray that you will enable us father to to uh, live with this truth and this reality in jesus name we pray amen 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.